hello here I'm going to show you the two very most powerful utilities I've learned to use recently what and what I mean by utilities really more of an applet kind of combined service online service kind of a thing the, the you might, might have heard of one of them it's called one of them is called Evernote here I'm using it on Windows Evernote is basically you might if you look on Google for Evernote it's thing called Evernote as in a note forever is um, like a it's basically that a combined service thing with utilities for the Windows and Mac and for the iPad and for Android devices so it's right across the whole the whole plethora of tablets and operating systems you can get a lot of people talk about it it's, it's, there's a lot on it and, and you can google and find out more as it's loads basically if you have something like a, a subject that you want to learn more about this allows you to make notebooks and put as much notes in these notebooks as, as you want and it goes further by letting you intelligently arrange them in 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 you know in the notes themselves by giving them you know things like for example, I'm not saying I'm very good at this, but you can give them things like tags and things. What I've done, I've taken a slightly different way of using it, which I'm, I'm always doing, because I always try and find new angles of things. It's all very well, I thought, you know, having, you know, the ability to put notes on the, on the cloud, as they call it. But I thought, well, why not take it further and make these notes actually help you? So they did this actually themselves, the Evernote people, by making a, like a quiz, kind of a, a, a companion utility called the Evernote Peak. This basically, what is quiz, okay? What is the Evernote Peak? What, what is this all about? Well, basically, they had the same idea. Why don't we try to make these notes help you? Rather than just have them, I mean, anyone can go on the cloud and drop files on the web. That's all done, dusted. But, you know, what's the point? Another one. The point is that Evernote is more intelligent. It's, it's supposed to be like a brain. It's supposed to help you. Like, you know, it does actually help. You know, therefore, why not actually make this help you more by helping you to remember stuff that you might want to remember from your notes. So you have, like, information on some subjects you want to, you want to learn. So they made, they made this thing called Peak. And this Peak could test you on things that was on your notes. And this is really well and good. Problem is... The peak is really rubbish, and it only shows you a very tiny amount of the note, so you can't even read half the note. So it didn't really work for me. I was trying to, basically I was trying to learn about Pizza Hut, work at Pizza Hut, and I made some questions. For example, why are there additional things to do other than driving at Pizza Hut? And the answer to the question is in the text. This is a format, and um, what kind of things do you need to do when you arrive at Pizza Hut? Um, so again, my notes here in in Evernote are making answer question kind of format. So the application I thought Pete would be able to test me on it, but it didn't work because it was just cutting off all the note. So it was a good idea, but done badly. So I want to tell you about this thing. This thing is called Study Blue. What this does, I've only just got it working, but what this does basically is it. it it, um, it's not perfect, but it, it's, it's not a bad. It's not a bad thing. What it does is it lets you make um, some uh, quiz cards out of your Evernote notes. It doesn't do it automatically though, which is a bit of a shame. You, what you have to do is you create create stacks of cards in your study area. It's easy to get on. It's just like you go on to study note, study blue. Sorry, this is called study blue, and then you make your account. You know, it sends you an email, that kind of thing, and then you can create your user area. I've created my user area; it's free; you don't have to pay for anything. And then what you can do is basically make study card decks out of each kind of equivalent notebook that you have on your Evernote thing. You can also connect them, but it doesn't really work properly. So I'm not sure that the best way to do it, but I would say, like. Uh, you find I'm not even sure how to use this yet, 
but you find the command I've, I found the command I may have to do other presentations later on to show you how to do that but you find your, your, your create new stack command in your study area and then basically you, you just make your new stack of cards I think this is this something like an option like this it's make plus I'm not sure this is the right option I only just started but this this I think would be how you create a new stack of cards if I'm not mistaken I'll, pr I'll try pressing it now see if what happens okay no that's actually just uh, that's actually just oh yes look at this has done, created me untitled flashcards so that's basically as easy as how you do a new card deck and with new card deck I could have just created a new piece of heart one I could name it here go on there and name it piece of heart whatever you want to call it here you it lets you set your title and the location so you can even set them in different folders which is pretty clever so you can see it's pretty easy okay I'll cancel this one and then creating a flashcard is as easy as um, I'm not sure where the option is for this either but obviously you know I, I have done it it's, it can't be that difficult because I've done it if I've managed to do it it can't be that hard in fact there's your card option adding you can even use the tab key to add it so you then you make the same kind of format so you'd have the question on the top and you add blah 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 your question there in there okay a bit slow the computer's not very fast and then you add your god forgive me my computer's a bit slow okay so there you go your title and your question then you just go done and that will create your new card it's as easy as that I think now it will I think I'm not sure what it's asking me here I thought I'd just create a new card and it seems to be trying to create me a new deck um, so if I go done what happens done. Oh, I think it's because this is a new deck of cards it's not the Pizza Hut one um, but now of course I'm in the creation I can't get out now uh, so I, I need to get out somehow and and, uh, and save it somehow so before I can get back but generally okay I've saved it maybe it'll let me exit this time and cancel now I seem to be stuck now I was trying to show you something but now I'm stuck in it I was trying to go back to the cards that I was using before but now as I had to create a new deck of cards to show you how you create a new deck of cards I'm stuck in it let's see if I can try and get out another way the backpack this is the option where you go to your folders directly so I think this is then your main navigation it's thing where you go so let's go back to the piece out folder maybe this will turn me back there okay it's telling me that I'll, I might have to lose that information I just put in so I've got no problem with that hopefully it'll take me away no I've done that does it it takes me yeah it seems to be trying to load my new stuff okay so I'm back in the piece of heart one that's good this is what I've done from it importing Evernote, but I don't do really anything really. Um, I'm not, not all that brilliant. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not doing very well here. You know, I thought I was going to be okay with Evernote, but copying and pasting seems to work anyway. So the good old-fashioned copy and paste method, so you can relax about that because you can still just get stuff in and out using copy and paste using new add card. I haven't shown you really what the beauty of this is, which is. It actually lets you quiz yourself on your, you know, on your iPhone or on your Android device later on by just hooking up, downloading the app, and then getting you onto your user area, and then you can just quiz yourself uh, on all these cards that you're trying to remember. That's the whole beauty of it. I might have to do something else later on to show you that, uh, but that's the idea of it anyway. Thank you very much. Bye for now.